Well, hello and welcome back to Demonism Total Nerdy Channel. And we are finally back in Stormy 2. As you know, I have a new system on my hands to uh, basically take all the fantasy games I want to play. Um, because some games I can't play with the, couldn't play with the old system, or can't, I still have it. Uh, and some games were, you know, getting more heavy and heavy, so I more or less couldn't use it. Anyways, stuff has happened in Star Maid. Um, and finally, I'm back in new system. That's really nice. Uh, what's happened in Star Maid? Uh, well, there is a new texture pack. Uh, I haven't really decided what I think about this new texture pack because it really changes the appearance kind of a lot. Um, like, whoa, this is a weird bouncing effect. Why does. That's strange. Oh well, whatever. Uh, you can see that the effects, you no longer need Bloom for this. So if I turn on Bloom, but I don't know, for some reason, Bloom drops the FPS by like 2 to 15 for some reason, while I get around 30 otherwise, I don't know why. But that's a thing anyways. Anyways, um, as you can see, the Jimerism Industries templates are kind of soonish done, which is pretty nice. So that's the thing. I totally have a little energy, damn it. I'm drifting away, no. Okay, let's 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 do a little quick fix here. Now, the thing is that the new th the, the new texture pack looks really cool. But I'm so used with building with the old texture pack, it feels it feels kind of weird. Um, so I haven't really decided, but probably it's better. Like I understand that mod many of the old players that got used to the first texture pack in Stormy, the uh, very pixely texture pack, kind of prefer that. Uh, but as f for me, that looks really not very nice at all. And I preferred, you know, the middle one. But I think I will get used to the new pe texture pack pretty quickly. I mean, some textures does look a lot better than they did before. So, I mean, that's the thing. Anyways, what I want to show you is... Whoa! Oh shit, where buttons? I'm still unused that it's F1 and not not the tab button. You change hood and other commands with. The Gmodism Industries templates are more or less done. Um, they are kind of done. So that's a thing. Um, and now I haven't really, you know, see. New textures. I mean, the new texture does look better. I'm just unused to them. So that's... <laughs> but it's nice. It's nice. I also like that the advanced armor are more, you know, visible. Um, so that's cool. We have lots of, uh, you know, stuff in in the Geomanism Industries template. Uh, and I hope you will look forward to taking a look at it yourselves too. We will have shipyards in modules, hangars, done hangars, uh, a little shop. This is a shop. Hmm. All right. Try to make it like space shop. I don't know. And you can even use D dock to it. And uh, there is also, you know, docking control, um, exterior armors, uh, sun panels. Um, windows and a little D7 turret mount because I use the D7 turret mount so much so I just included it even though it's simple. A little command deck, storages, this all the all the systems you will need, even a scaffolding if you want to fill out some empty space. Uh, everything is made in this same principle and as I said before after many testings I decided that 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven is the best. Uh, even when you build this inside a uh, already done ship, you just have to have space for um, five high and then you just dig one down and paste in it and the top part and the down part will disappear, you know. So that's a cool feature. And uh, there is one weird thing, um, the spawned station with all the 
you know all these didn't save the what is it it didn't save the text on the text screen modules however they work I can just show you here but anyways there are lots of different spaces I plan to probably exchange I'm not decided yet because I have a security door which is here and that's a simple lock from inside like that um, probably I'll change it to password um, because I built most of this text, this uh, modules on my old system, uh, where I had a very old version of StarMade. Because uh, after some updates, StarMade got more slow, basically. Anyways, let's see her load. Um, I'll show you the text because all all the things I've made have nice, um, ver very nice texts for them. Let's go for private room, like that, paste, there we have it, private room, paste it, and here we have it, you know, and then you have the screen just, welcome home, and uh, the different text, uh, the, the, all the different stuff basically has a unique text I have made. Uh, to make it a little bit more more nice. Well, that's the templates anyways. Ooh, how does the missile look? I kind of like the new missiles. Oh my god, the new missile block looks so much nicer. Fantastic. I just need to... I just spawned this. It's nothing. Okay, so here are the new tubes. They look much more tubey. <laughs> And not like separate entities. That's nice. I love the new missiles. They're good. They're nice. Apparently we have show docked entities. Let's not have that. I don't remember. I think I haven't even... Oh no. I have a much newer version of this. Oh, I still need to transfer some of the whips. There's no. Oh, now it worked. Cool. I didn't turn on Bloom, right? No? Okay. <laughs> oh well. I guess I have a newer version of this. Never mind. I wonder why it gets blue like this. Is it somewhere of the background or something? I don't know. I think I spawned another vessel somewhere too. Didn't I spawn a catapult? Do we have a catapult? What? Wait, no. Oh, I see. I think we have a... So, the catapult is apparently a flawed save. Um, oh well, it seems like I need to import new ones. I barely remember what happened more. Did I... Did, yes, I built some new turrets, also not imported. <laughs> Uh, I say them as blueprints after moving all the other files, so that's why they're missing. But anyways, now you know what's going on, and uh, I hope you're excited to check out my um, modules. That's basically interior and exterior module things. You can even have, you know, parts um, that are designed to build a room with like modules like this. Oops, I dropped something. Oh well. Uh, I'll look at that later. Um, and a little, you know, just some examples of what you can build. Oh, this is a hub room. Uh, if you want to connect the large modules, you need a central hub and this is it. And of course you need to get up and down. So the solution for that is uh, one module of stairs and one module of elevator. For the elevator, what you need to do is you need to make your own little platform. It's very, very, very simple. Oops, wrong entity. Uh, but you just press the button and it goes up and down basically and then I have a rail speed enhancer so it's really fast. Yeah, that's basically that. That's a drop in FPS. Interesting, what happened? Well, um, oh, one more thing. The top of the modules uh, does tell uh, some information of uh, the properties of it. So that can be a good, you know, thing when building. To know that. Oh well, let's not ramble on anymore and uh, well I hope you stay tuned and enjoy this little video. 
Uh, I'll be catching you around, um, and uh, I will soon be going on to the Star Squadron server to continue the Let's Play there. We have a star server restart and also the Star Mother members have moved over to our server. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, however, there are much fewer of the Star Mother than the original Star Squad people, so I will probably be helping out the awesome Star Mother folks um, for the coming season even though I'm probably actually more belonging to Star Squadron because you know one of the um, not old but one of the older elder m members that produce uh, videos regularly I'll guess um, but uh, also we need to get some balancing teams and I have no problem with working with any of the factions so I will be going in as a Starmada um, onto that this season basically um, it's me and let's see here There were some people, I think Aliad couldn't play, I think it's Dogmus and and uh, Gary Kane, I think. It will be active on my side, probably. And on the Star Squadron side, the active people is probably Jace Machine and... Um, I shouldn't say exactly, because I don't remember who's, who will be active or not this season. We'll notice, we'll notice. <laughs> Anyways, I see you next time, Geomedism Total Nerd Channel, signing out.